Welcome to Business 137, Principles of Management. My name is Rebecca Pesco, and welcome to the class. Glad to have you here. Um, please take a few minutes to listen to this entire video. As it's, it's the overview of what to expect. Um, start off by please taking the enrollment verification quiz if you have not done so already. Uh, you also you need to do this by the 10% date, and the other thing that you need to complete by the 10% date is the Statement of Academic Integrity. I'll go over uh, cheating and plagiarism a little bit um, while we review the syllabus. Um, there's also information about it within the syllabus as well as this document. So please read these two documents in their entirety before completing the Statement of Academic Integrity. Um, again, this is due by the 10% point, so please make sure you do that. Um, let's see, let's go over and look at the syllabus first, and we'll go from there. All right. Um, again, my name is Rebecca Pesco. I'm in the Delamar building now. Um, if you had me as your advisor last semester, I was in the Brinson, so I um, know that my office changed. Um, the textbook is Management, Four Letter Press Management by Cengage, um, the ninth edition. However, some of you may have the eighth edition if you're a CCP Pathway student or if you um, spoke with me. Um, I told a lot of students that were registering for the class that you are welcome to use the 8th edition if you would like. Um, there really are not a lot of significant differences between the 8th and 9th editions and if you come across any of these, since I am allowing the 8th edition to be used, if you run across any uh, challenges between the 8th and 9th edition when taking the quizzes or whatnot, um, please just let me know and we will make it right because I am allowing students to use either the 8th or the 9th edition. Um, you do not need to have access to the, um, is it Connect, or I'm not sure what they call um, Cengage's software. You do not have to purchase that access code, so that is also an option. So do whatever makes the most financial sense for you, um, but you will need either the 8th or the 9th edition of this textbook. Um, this class goes over what is management. We're also going to be touching on leadership on how to communicate, how to motivate. Um, hopefully by the end of this course you will be an effective leader in your workplace whether you are a manager um, or entry level. Um, I want you to be able to leave this course with the skills you need to get hired and to stay hired um, and stay in your position. So hopefully you will learn valuable tools moving forward and understand a little bit how businesses work, both large and small. Um, in this, we're going to look a little bit at quality management and project management. These are both business concepts that apply to large businesses as well as small. Um, we're also going to be looking at human resource management. It's a highlight of what you would get if you were in Business 153, where we go very in-depth into human resource management. Um, since this is a three-credit hour course, um, plan on spending a minimum of six hours a week in this class. Um, it is your responsibility to log into Moodle every business day, Monday through Friday. While I don't usually, you know, produce last-minute deadlines or additions to the course, it is within my rights to do so. If I want to add a new resource because I heard something in the no in the news, and I expect you to be accountable for it, the only way you're going to catch that is if you're logging in every day. Um, so please log in every day, check your announcements, especially if you're in the online section. Um, that's my only way of really communicating with you as a class. So it's very important that you are visiting Moodle daily. Um, when you have a quiz, uh, you won't be able to see the answers until after the quiz closes, after the module closes. But go back in and see what you missed and try to ask yourself why. Make sure you understand the concept and then don't just, you know, take it like, oh, I got it wrong or, oh, I got it right. Use that as a, as a really important learning tool. And if you're not understanding or you're understanding but you're not performing well on the quizzes, come talk to me and let's work on some, some quiz test taking strategies that will help you. Um, if you don't feel comfortable talking with me, uh, don't hesitate to contact Mary Brown in the library. She does an excellent job of tutoring for quizzes. Um, attendance. Attendance is, is a college policy that we don't have a lot of flexibility with once you exceed the 20% mark of absences. So absences, especially those of you who are in the online class, um, absences 
are the failure to submit an assignment. So if you do not participate in a discussion forum or if you do not participate in a quiz, not only will you earn a zero for that and that hurts your grade, but you will also be counting up absences. And once you've exceeded 20% of the course content, um, you will be dropped. So please keep track of submitting things on time. Um, submitting your assignments. Any assignment must be submitted by Moodle. We don't have a lot of homework in this course. It's really um, focused on quizzes um, throughout you know, each module. But when you come to your project, that needs to be submitted by Moodle. Um, I cannot accept it by email. No late work is accepted. I'm going to be very, very strict with that this semester. The only exception to this policy would be extenuating circumstances such as um, emergency hospitalization. If something like that were to happen, it will need to be documented before um, I will accept any late work. Um, in order to help when you have technology that gets in the way, um, I drop the lowest quiz and the lowest discussion forum uh, score. So that's to accommodate for any sort of computer, internet, difficulties, transportation, last minute jobs, all of those different things that pop up. Otherwise, no late work accepted, period. Um, sometimes I've had, during the semester, a student lose internet connection while taking a quiz. Um, if that happens, you have one exception throughout the entire semester that you can contact me and let me know that you lost your internet. I can look and verify and see your course activity, whether you had ample time to finish the quiz before the deadline and so on and so forth. If that does happen, um, I will one time in the semester do an exam reset. But it is your responsibility to contact me within 24 hours of that happening um, or I will not provide an exception. It is your responsibility to find some place with reliable internet connection if you're in an online course to take your quizzes. Um, that would usually be our, our school. So if something like that happens when you are on campus, um, please provide somebody um, as a witness. So if you're in our, our library um, on campus, please make sure you have an employee there in the library, verify what had happened and that there was an internet connection error. Um, if you are a CCP student over there in Bayboro, please have somebody there um, Mr. Godwin will be there most of the time. Have him confirm that it did indeed happen because I'm going to ask um, either the library or Bayboro if that was the case. Um, when you take the quizzes, back on the quizzes idea, you can use your textbook and notes. I'm assuming that all quizzes are open note and open book, but they are not open friend. That doesn't mean you don't need to study for them because I don't have quiz questions that are just definitions. They're application questions. So you really need to read the chapter, take notes of the chapter, use all the resources in Moodle, and then when you get to the quiz, use all of those things that you have written down to help you. But make sure you're using the textbook while you're um, taking the quiz. Um, it will definitely help your score. Academic dishonesty. Um, in this course, most of the problems I have with academic dishonesty is with the final project. Um, be very careful in how you cite your work in the final project. Do not copy and paste. Do not steal work from anybody else. Um, please use the library um, or me if you're not sure that you're citing properly. We will be using MLA format this semester, um, so your paper must be produced in MLA format. And if you're not familiar with that, I have a copy of MLA format in my office. Um, the library will also help you with it, um, but you need you can also find it pretty much free online. Um, but you're responsible for producing a college level paper that involves no copying and pasting. Obviously, um, collaboration with another student on a quiz um, or an exam would be considered cheating. Um, so it would be sharing. Um, copying and pasting for discussion forums, uh, sharing any sort of resources that you should not be having. Um, all of those things would be con considered offenses. Um, in this class, the first offense is a zero on the assignment. The second offense is a zero in an F in the course. The third offense that happens during your career here at Pamlico Community College will result in expulsion. So this is a very serious policy that we take very serious. Um, and so please watch your behavior. Um, as I mentioned, we have chapter quizzes, a midterm exam, 
a final exam, and a final project. There's a separate video to go over the final project, so make sure you find that video and listen to it now because there are early deadlines for this final project starting in March that you cannot do, or starting in April, and you cannot finish these the night before it's due. So make sure you look over the final project either today or this week. I recommend today. Um, and then we also have discussion forums. I have a video talking about the discussion forum rubric, so check that video out. Um, and read the rubric to make sure that you're scoring as high as possible. Um, the quizzes throughout the semester are worth half your grade, midterm, final, 10% each, discussion forums, and final project, 15% each. Um, I do not round, and we're on a 10-point grading scale. Let's see. I talked about class participation, and here's our schedule. Um, you can see the deadlines are consistently every Wednesday at 11.45 p.m. So print the schedule, keep it someplace close so you can refer to it every day, every night. Make sure you're staying on track. Sometimes there'll be a couple modules open and people get lost. So just know where you're supposed to be and what's due each, each time. And I think that's it for the syllabus. Okay, let's see what else is in the course that I want to make sure we go over. Um... Here's your first module. So this is due on, what date did I put it? On the 8th, I believe, February 8th. Yes. Um, the first module covers chapters 1 and 2. If you see um, anything that does not have the word optional on it, it means you're responsible for it. Um, by the time you view this, you'll probably see chapter 1 and 2 PowerPoints are considered optional activities. Not every student finds those PowerPoints relevant. PowerPoints are not a substitution for reading the textbook. You will not be successful in this class if you are only using the PowerPoints um, and not the textbook. So it's essential that you have access to the textbook. Um, lectures, some are prepared by me, some are prepared on YouTube by other um, instructors. So make sure you listen to all lectures and participate in the discussion forums. And then you'll want to complete your two quizzes. So each module kind of follows this nice distinct pattern. Um, if you have any question, at any point about the content, have difficulty with the links, please let me know. Um, here's an, an optional activity, uh, for example, but everything else here is required. These lectures are usually quite short, so don't get you know overwhelmed when you look at it. They're usually about five minutes long. All right, I think that's about it for the first video, so please listen to the second video about your final project. I highly recommend you look at that today because like I said, it's supposed to be worked on throughout the semester and there's a deadline in April. All right, have a great day. Thanks.